Well, hello, friends. So just as the title of this video says, rich people don't create jobs. You do. I do. We do. Just as rich people don't take jobs away. We do. All of us do. And here's what I mean by that. It is so simple. It's also how we can form a revolution in our favor that would be greater than any revolution in violence, but without any violence. And that is, when you buy stuff, do you pay attention to where it comes from? Is it made in China? Is it made in the United States? Where is it made? Where are you sending your money? Are you creating jobs? Are you taking jobs away? It's all about how you spend your money. If you're buying stuff made in the USA, guess what? You're creating more jobs and better paying jobs because we have standards here, unlike they do in other countries. Um, do you buy made in China? Um, you don't know because you don't look, you don't pay attention, so you're probably buying made in China, made elsewhere than other than the United States. Well, you're taking jobs away from us then, and you probably have no idea because it's not talked about much. So this is how we create jobs. It's us. Rich people don't do it. Rich people just respond to the demand of that we are creating. If a job is dismantled, rich people, they just respond to that shit. Same thing with job creation. And think about the food supply. Think about everything, even the food supply. It's like, are you buying healthy organic food? Then you're creating more healthy organic food that everybody gets to enjoy for the betterment of everybody. Are you buying toxic food that's been genetically modified? Well, then you're creating a food supply of more toxic food that makes the pharmaceutical companies very happy and the private insurance companies that want to price gouge you and not uh, give you any, you know, honor your claims that you make. So what are you creating in terms of our food supply as well as our entire economical structure? It's us. Or are you one of those fools that just goes out and barks on Facebook and protests out there and with placards and stuff, but they don't pay attention to that. That doesn't mean, that means dick. It means nothing. Because oftentimes how we protest with our mouth isn't what we're voting for with our money. Everything we spend money on, it's like, give me more of that. And that's the only indicator they are going to pay attention to. That's government, politics, industry, free market, capitalism, all that stuff. It's all on you and me and how we spend our money. Bam. Hi, Juanita. Hi, Charla. Hi, Donna. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, everyone else. So it's that easy. Some people talk of a violent revolution, like we need a revolution. We don't have the right to do this. We don't have the right to do that. We don't have the right to do this. We're taxed for that, 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 that. And the system is rigged and slanted in favor of the top 0.2%. Well, everyone else is taxed so that the top 0.2% can have more while we have less. We need a violent revolution. People are talking about that. It's like, no, fool, you just... We don't need a violent revolution. That's not even moral. It's not ethical. It's not rational. I mean, if you don't consider the effect that money has and how you spend your time and money, then perhaps a violent revolution would be the only way to go. But money is a real thing. And where you put your money is a real thing. And that actually has much more of a profound impact than a violent revolution. So violence is really for intellectually lazy, stupid, obnoxious people. This talk of a violent revolution, it really is intellectually um, inferior and lazy and stupid. So the only revolution that's gonna matter is a financial one. That's it. That's it, just a financial one. You know, most of the top 0.2% most of them don't even want the corporate welfare that they get from the government. The ones we mostly hear about are the ones that are making the news and so forth because they do like it. And those are the scumbags of the world, some of the scumbags. But most of them don't even want it, but they can't help but get it because the government gives it to them because we create the demand for it by how we spend our money. We constantly buy things that make us poor. We buy things that make us sick. We buy things that sends our job everywhere but here. And what do we do it for? We do it because of our short-sighted attention span. We're going to save a little bit of money at the cash register, but it ends up at the end of the day, saving that little bit of money at the cash register costs us everything. It costs us our job. It costs us our health. It costs us, costs us our wealth. It costs us our happiness. It costs us everything, saving that little bit of money at the cash register. You have to have an attention span that's greater than that of a 15 second goldfish. And we have to be able to look beyond what the eyes can see that's right in front of us and beyond what the ears can hear and actually use our incredible brains that we've been gifted with. So that's how we create the revolution without any violence and one that will have much more impact than any violent revolution ever could have. 
just have to pay attention to where we spend our money and be like, you know, every time you're looking at something at the store, where's my money going if I buy this and this and this? Oh, this is going over here. Well, we don't need more of that, but we want more of this. So I'm going to put my money this way. We want more organic, healthy food. That's going to make us less dependent on pharmaceuticals. And we want to support our own economy so we can have more better paying jobs. So I'm going to get the made in the USA here and not made in China and so on and so forth. Just uh, put it in the forefront of your brain. Every time you have a penny or a dollar or whatever that goes out, think about where it's going and if it's really worth it. And most of the time, it's not worth it. So change that and we have our revolution. Bam! That's how we do it. So share this. And I've got many more videos and I, great ideas, if I do say so myself, on my website at TomBerkenmeyer.com. Take out the space, all lowercase, TomBerkenmeyer.com. And share this, because this is an idea that needs to get out there. It needs to perpetuate. I don't care about me, I care about the message. So share this and get the message out there so the conversation is happening in more people's brains. That's how we change politics and we get corruption out of government and we get corruption out of industry and for the betterment of the entire country. That's a real revolution, man. So share this! <laughs> and let's uh, put our money where our mouths are, okay? Because when we don't, we look pretty stupid. Now, I'm going to scroll up and see if people have things they want to say. Um, Tanya, it won't play for you. Well, it's playing for other people, so there must be something up with your connection, but uh, you'll be able to watch the recording of this when it gets archived on my Facebook timeline. So, no worries, you'll be able to go back and watch. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Deb. Um, Deborah, you as well. You'll be able to play this video later when it's on my timeline. Uh, Juanita, hello. Uh, Donna says you, that you don't buy overseas because they use child labor. I used to buy imitation coach purses till I learned where they come from. Yeah, and the reason why it's so cheap uh, to sell our jobs over there, you know, we buy stuff that's cheaper at the cash register. Typically, it's made somewhere else because it's cheaper to make it out there. And that is because they don't have standards like we do. We don't, uh, we don't allow um, employers to exploit children and to exploit their workers in, in certain ways. And over there, you know, over in China and other places, they have child sweatshops and adult sweatshops and they get paid scraps, if anything at all. And they're not safe work conditions. And so we have a lot of blood and misery and pain and suffering on our hands because we perpetuate that needless human suffering by where we put our money when we don't pay attention. So America is not as moral and, and good as we make ourselves out to be. We really aren't. I hate to break it to you. But Donna, I'm very happy you became aware of this and you changed how, how you spend your money. Juanita has a garden in her yard. That's an awesome form of rebellion against that nonsense. Growing your own garden, growing your own organic garden. That's one of the, that's one of the most top level form of rebellion, rebellious acts you can do is to grow your own organic garden. <clears throat> All right, I'm caught up with reading everything. Boy, it got dark here suddenly. It might rain here, so you can probably hardly see my face now. So I'm gonna end this video unless there's any other comments that somebody has to make. Thanks everyone for watching and please share this. It's not about me, it's about the message. This message needs to get out there. I think more people would change their shopping habits if they were, if they became consciously aware of what they're creating when they spend their money. If it's something that's detrimental to us or if it's something that's for the betterment of us, I think more people would change their spending habits. Don't you? I think so. So if you think so too, please share this message. And bye for now. Mwah! Okay, you know that line of bullshit they keep giving us in the media and politics about how rich people are the ones that create jobs. We need to give tax breaks to them because they're the ones that create jobs and stuff. Well, by the way, this is in uh, follow-up to my last live feed that I did. I just forgot to mention this. So I'll stitch the two videos together eventually, and there you go. Hi, Caitlin. But the reason why they have us focused on, uh, you know, job creation comes from the top and works its way down is to keep us totally distracted from the power that is within us. We create all those jobs, as I just uh, communicated in my last video, which you should go back and watch so you have a clue as to what I'm talking about. But we create all that stuff by how we spend our money. We also dismantle our own jobs and send them overseas by how we spend our money. By Made in the USA, you're creating jobs. 
If you keep your focus on rich people creating jobs, then you're probably not going to focus on where you're buying stuff and where you're sending your money because you're distracted on the polar opposite of what is true. So don't buy into that bullshit about how rich people create jobs and rich people send jobs overseas. No, that's all on you and me. You buy made in China or made elsewhere, whatever, you're dismantling jobs. You're sending those jobs overseas. If you buy made in the USA, it's really simple. It's like a conceptually a first grade level concept. But the establishment, once you focus on rich people, creates jobs and all that other bullshit because then you're not likely to change anything about you. And it's you that creates all that movement and you that creates a revolution if we're ever going to have one that's in our favor. That's the honest to God truth. And speaking of jobs, and this isn't my opportunity to, to pitch you anything, but I hate the idea of having a job no matter what, even if it's a good paying job. Because no matter what, job money keeps you shackled to the dollar. You have to keep showing up every day or you stop getting paid and you can't pay your bills anymore. That's a hamster wheel paycheck. Even if it's a big paycheck or a little one, it's still conceptually a hamster wheel paycheck that keeps you shackled to the dollar. So if you hate that kind of thing and you just want to be a free human being, then uh, connect with me and I'll show you what I'm doing. It's all about health and fitness and getting away from pharmaceutical companies and just being a free human being and, and perpetuating health and wealth instead of managing sickness and poverty or and oftentimes instead of creating sickness and poverty so that there's sickness and poverty to manage. Instead of profiting from that nonsense, I like to profit from spreading health and wealth. So if you like that kind of thing and you don't want a job, period, then get a hold of me and, and we'll talk and share this video because the prior message is really the focus point of this video so that we can start uh, putting in the forefront of our brain, changing our spending habits so that we create jobs and we put our focus where it should be instead of this distractive bullshit that they have us focusing on, oh, rich create jobs. And it's not true. It's an utter lie. We create jobs and the focus needs to be there. Okay. And by the way, if you do decide to be an entrepreneur like me because you don't want a job, congratulations, that's pretty cool. But I would still implore you to buy made in the USA and wholesome organic healthy food whenever possible because whether you hate having a job for yourself or you love having a job, you should really support our own economy and our people so that we have a healthy, rich, wealthy, healthy, happy, productive country. So I hate having a job, so I don't have one. I haven't had a job in 11 years. I don't want one, but I'm still spending my money on made in the USA because it's, it's for the betterment of everybody, whatever our, our, you know, whatever it is that my fellow woman and man citizen wants. So that's really important guys to share this. And my website again is TomBurkenmeyer.com. Take out the space all lowercase TomBurkenmeyer.com. I got tons of ideas. Hi Kevin. Hi Alicia. Hi Donna. Sally. Nice to see so many of you again, as I did on the first one. Hi Linda, Juanita, Cynthia and uh, some other people. Caitlin, very nice to see you all. And watch that last video I just put out there so that you have an idea of what I'm talking about in this one. And like the last live feed, this will be posted to my Facebook as soon as I click the finish button and it'll be out there. And thanks for uh, the hearts and all that. I think the like button is kind of impotent. The heart one is where it's at. So share these messages and, uh, and TomBurkenmeyer.com and I'll see you guys later, okay? And I'll probably hear from some of you very soon as well. Bye for now. Mm. <laughs>